We've just made the tutorial how to update our Arch Linux B Plasma system, and there are three procedures in the article. Now we are used to an icon we have here in the toolbar, and it's not there at this point in time. This icon is um, well connected to an application called PAMAC, so you have to remember the name. And PAMAC is coming from the AOR, and it has here this menu add and remove software and you'll immediately recognize it from the other desktop environments like xfc box i3 bsp wm etc so it's a quite interesting application since you see what elements everything is green what elements are already installed on the system it's also interesting to see if there are updates and you can update the system via this graphical user interface rather than via a terminal you can go into repositories and see what does of what is installed from the Arch Linux repo. Just this one, not awesome, of course not, etc. So you can see and analyze elements that are coming from uh, anywhere. Any repo can be looked at here. And you can also look at categories, like okay, education category or graphics category, and see if you want to have Blender installed, apply, and it's installed. So this PAMAC thing is interesting. Now, like I said, there is no icon down here. So if you are one of those people who say, I don't want to do Ctrl Alt T, then do an update. And then after that's done, you do a scale. And after that's done, for instance, you do a an, uh, PKSYUA. That's one of our ways to update our systems, right? If you don't, um, if you want to have an, a visual a graphical application like PAMAC, then you may want to have here this icon Mac, this PAMAC, this star-like icon that shows you you have an update. So a red um, star will tell you, hey, update the system. So how do we do that? We need to tell the system to start something up. So we can always use just type whatever word you think of and then find out. So here is the auto start, but I'm going to navigate with you to the proper place, system settings. And I have to look, right? Look, look, look. And here it says start up and shut down. That's what we need to do. We need to auto start something. Dropbox is auto started logically. And key JPG is auto started and variety. So if you want to have something more, you have to tell them. So we need to know, of course, what's the program, what's the application, what should we type? So it's regarding PAMAC. So you type in a terminal PAMAC, press twice on tap, and the application you would like to launch actually is called PAMAC tray, which is this tray, and it has this little icon, and it's going to show you a there are updates. So in the auto start, I'm going to add a program, PAMAC tray, right? We've just analyzed the name. Now it's not there. It's normal that it's not there because this list that you see here is the list that comes from user share application and all the desktops files that are there. So this is not, an, the software engineer from PAMAC did not make a dot desktop file there. No problem, just keep typing, PAMAC tray, just be sure to type it correctly, and then I say, okay. And then you get a uh, pop-up anyway, and you see here that there are no typos allowed. Be sure that that's correct. Permissions is all good. Application, and here's the command, PAMAC tray. That's the most important thing uh, for you to know, and all the rest is just fine. So, okay. PAMAC tray enabled run on startup. So everything is set up the way we want it. It's not a save button or anything, an apply button that we're used to on um, Plasma by now. No, it is enabled all right, already. And you'll see when you boot up, let's fake a boot up. PAMAC tray. And you'll see an icon popping up. Let's get rid of those. Here you see the icon of PAMAC tray. And if, and only if of course, there are updates, then the icon will change of, in color. 
and clicking on the icon will uh, open up package manager so that's a way how to get this icon back personally i don't need it um, i'll just go in the terminal and update everything but it's something we miss and something you might miss and here it is to install now PAMEC is open so why not include a little bit more if you go to the three lines up here you can refresh database view history also very interesting to see what did they install update and what did i do and retrace your steps if something goes wrong install local packages that's the sudo pacman minus u right we've done that in other tutorials and then preferences is something maybe you should take a look at for instance you can say um, that you want to automatically download updates is an option if you're saying okay once a day is more than enough for me for an update then you just uh, make it a little bit bigger here the number automatically download updates depending if you are on a desktop or a laptop i don't care when he downloads it i'm on a desktop right so it's always good i'm not moving around and the aor support so aor is a community maintained repository so it presents potential risks and problems all aor users should be familiar with the build process so if you have watched and can watch the arclinux iso.com website you'll see lots of package builds and aor things and also under the menu fixes so maybe you would like to enable the AOR so you can see uh, the updates coming from AOR and check for updates from AOR. So that's um, an option that you can do. And then cache, how many versions will you keep? This is mainly probably for people who have a very small uh, hard disk and or SSD and then say, okay, let's not keep too many packages, uh, versions, I mean then, of a package in the cache or clean the cache altogether so these are the settings for now i'm gonna use on this pc and all the rest is okay check the available disk space uh, yeah you can do that and really don't have any clue about my disk space okay 17 gigabyte free so that's cool all right that will conclude this video so pamac tray is now as of now always present in my videos and because of this startup that we've just done so how to start is the same application it's just a little bit smaller than what we've just seen but it's here pamac tray enabled all right cheers